Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is Application Specific Integrated Circuit that is ASIC Design Flow and SPICE Simulation. First part, Application Specific Integrated Circuit Design Flow. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this, draw and explain ASIC Design Flow. So this is the flow chart. It is comparatively very simple. First block is design entry. As the name indicates, we have to enter the design specifications. Then uh, the it is synthesis, synthesized using certain logical techniques. Then pre layout simulation is used. It is used for the logical correct, uh, corrections. Then partitioning is done. That means the entire system is divided into number of smaller blocks. Then placement and routing is done. In placement and routing, uh, it will be decided the location of the cell in a block. Then circuit extraction in that in that in this step, the extraction of the parasitic components takes place. And last step block is timing simulation. As the name indicates, the timing simulation action will be performed by this block. This is also called post simulation block. I've written some important points related to this uh, flow graph. First is design entry. As the name indicates, we have to enter design. You may use a systematic entry or uh, you may use certain high level description languages like VHDL Verilog. Then logic synthesis block. It contains the synthesis tool. I'm talking about this block. It contains the synthesis tools which are used to transform the design description to the net list. That means we how to transform high level description into simple logical blocks using this logic synthesis step. Next is the pre layout simulation. This pre layout simulation consists of simulation tools which are used for uh, making certain corrections. I mean, uh, it first checks the logical uh, connections and uh, it checks for logical correctness. Next is partitioning. As the name indicates, the entire system is partitioned, divided into number of smaller blocks and then the floor planning is done. Floor planning means the different blocks are placed on the chip. Then placement and routing, I'm talking about this block, placement and routing. This step decides the location of a cells in a block as well as it makes connection between cells and a block and care is taken that the interconnection should be as minimum as possible. Next is the circuit extraction. In the earlier video, we have discussed about the parasitic effect like uh, effect of or uh, presence of parasitic capacitance. In such a designing, there is an effect of parasitic capacitance, parasitic resistance, which is harmful. So circuit extraction steps determines the parasitic capacitance as well as parasitic uh, resistance. Then last block is timing simulator. As I said, this is also called post simulation block. So this block checks the functionality of the circuit after extraction of the parasitic components as well as it gives the timing analysis. So this is about the application specific integrated circuit design flow. Next part is SPICE simulation. Basically SPICE stands for simulation program with integrated circuit emphasis. This is the flow graph for SPICE simulation. First step as usual, we have to enter the design specifications. Then initial circuit design is done in the next uh, step. Then simulation is performed using SPICE. Uh, the different codes are used that we are going to discuss. Many times after this, the circuit is checked for any corrections. If there are corrections or if there are errors, then correction is done. And last step is hardware implementation after this simulation. So as I said, SPICE is simulation program with integrated circuit emphasis. The SPICE program file usually includes the title, then parameter, then circuit description, input and outputs of the circuit, analysis and models. The different components that are used in SPICE simulation are register, inductor, capacitor, then voltage and current sources. It includes both that is dependent and independent voltage and current sources. It also includes active components, then it includes uh, transistors, then MOSFETs and so on. 
So I have written syntax of a few elements that are used in spice simulation. First is the register. The syntax is RXXX. That means we have to write the values like R1, R2, R3 and so on. So RXX is N1, N2. N1, N2 denotes the particular nodes that are existing in the circuit. Then value of the register. Same syntax is used for capacitor. Only in place of R, we have used notation uh, C. C stands for capacitor. Similarly, uh, for the inductor, the syntax will be L, X, 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 N1, N2 and value. In this case, it is value of capacitor. If you are using inductor, that means L, X, 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 then this value will be value of inductor. Then for the voltage source, uh, the DC voltage source, the syntax is V base X, 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 N1, N2, again nodes DC and DC dot value, that means uh, DC dot 5 volt and so on. Then same specification, same syntax is applicable for current uh, source. It is I, X, 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 then N1, N2, DC and DC dot value. So this is about the flow graph for a spice simulation. Now let us discuss spice simulation for AC circuit analysis. As an example, we will consider a simple AC uh, circuit which is consisting of RC that is a register R1 of value 10 kilo ohm and capacitance C1 of value 10 nanofarad. So this is simple RC circuit which is driven by the input voltage V in. Now different points, different nodes are marked in the circuit. This is 1, 2. This terminal is grounded which is marked as 0. So this AC circuit analysis calculates the output variables as a function of frequency. This analysis can be used to plot the magnitude and phase response. Now the spice calculates the DC operating point of the circuit and use small signal model for the devices available in the circuit. In such analysis, the output is usually a transfer function TF of the RC circuit. So as an example, we are considering this simple RC circuit. Now I have written the spice code. So see, I have marked different points that is 1, 2 and this point is 0. R1 is connected between 1 and 2. Just now we discussed the uh, syntax for register, capacitor and voltage sources. So for R1, R1 is connected between points 1 and 2. So R1, 1, 2 and its value is 10 kilo ohm. So R1, 1, 2, 10 K. Then capacitor C1 is connected between points 2 and 0 whose value is 10 nanofarad. So C1, uh, 10 nanofarad. So this is 10 nanofarad. Oh, sorry, C1 is connected between 2 and 0. So this is correct 2 and 0 and its value is 10 nanofarad. So it is 10 N. Then V in, V in that is the voltage source is connected between 1 and 0. So V in is 1 and 0, DC 0, AC 1. This particular command dot AC, DC 5, 10 and 10 mega, M means mega. This AC commands inform spice to run the AC analysis at 5 points per decade because here we have written 5, 10. 5 points per decade from the frequency range is 10 to 10 megahertz. So this is how the SA analysis can be done by using the SPICE simulation. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.